guys, my name is Marcelo Martins. I'm from Macquarie Studio and I'm here today to talk about the be at home in this time that is very boring because it's long and sometimes it's missing something to do. And I'd like to talk with parents and kids today with a great suggestions to do at home. Why not to try Brazilian bracelet. It's as easy and fun to do. You, what you need? Not so much things. Come to me, I go to show you this today. Okay? Let's go. So, what do we need to do the Brazilian bracelet? You can have a, a carton paper. If you don't have a, a carton paper like mine, you can get a and they recycle back uh, a carton paper, another one, or a box of cereal. Doesn't matter. You just need this uh, a carton, a solid paper. You need a holder. I have here a different holder, but I have a small one here that is uh, over around 15 centimeters or over around 5 inches. Okay? Pencil, scissors, and some yarns. I have some yarns here. Different colors. You can get your favorite colors, okay? So, what you have to do? Your paper, you have to get have around 10, 11 centimeters each side. So, you go to get uh, around 10 centimeters here. So, zero into 10 or four inches, okay? So, the halfway is five, four inches is two. You have to get your halfway here. In your halfway, you put your five centimeters or your two for your two inches, and you get another line, zero, into 10 or 0 into 4 okay now go to make a x you put your 5 here or your 2 before if you have inch inch and you go to 0 into, two, into 10 centimeters or 0 into uh, ten, uh, 4 and you do the last one in another side okay zero into ten or zero into four now you have a little star like this get a scissor go to cut your carton like this this half paper you can get aside because you can use this slate to make another one for a friend or for someone at home. And now, with your scissor, you have to, like drawing, you have to cut connecting every point of your star. Just so, cut connecting, making a, a shape of a polygon with eight sides. How does it is named? Could you try to find the name of this this shape? What the name of this shape with eight sides? Hmm. Try to find it. You go to do a review of maths polygons. So now we have here our machine. This is the machine to make some bracelets. So you have to do just small cuts here, around a half inch, okay? Or one and a half centimeters. You have to make eight cuts, okay? Ah, Marcelo, my figure is irregular. Doesn't matter because it is yours is better because it's different of your friend. That's great because it's not similar to your friend. It's not equal. It's better. It's unique. Okay? 
Here in the middle, you have to make a hole with your the point of your scissor. If you cannot do this, ask your an adult to do this for you, okay? Great. Now your machine is ready to start. Put this a little bit aside. And now it's time to get your colors, your yarn. I like dark blue. I like pink. I love pink. I love pink. So I get pink. I like dark blue, light blue, and I like this one. I want four colors. I have green and orange, but I don't want this one. I want four colors like this. How do I measure my yarn? It's easy. Because I'm adult, I have a long adult arm. But you are a kid, no problem. You get to your my mouth like, like your hand like this and you put the yarn into your shoulder ah, like this that is your longer okay from your hands into your shoulder like this you measured one time one time so i got four four colors so i need seven brands of yarns so i have four colors i go to have my color, I have one blue, two dark blues, okay? So I cut here. I measure just one yarn here, and I use that I measured once to measure the other yarns, okay? So I have two yarns. I want my pink two times. So I get one pink, I cut the same length and I got one other one. Okay. Let's go. Two pink. Put pink aside. That's finished. That one is blue, yellow, dark, and light blue white and yellow. I want two, this color too. That's great, it's beautiful. Cut, one, and two. Whoop. And I have six now, and my last one is a light blue. That's great. I finish with my yarn. Now I have here my machine, my yarn. I have to start, but to start, I get a little bit longer here and I, give, I make a knot here. I have to leave here a little longer because I use this to attach in my hand here. And I do a great knot. Okay, and at the other side, I come here, I cut this all at the same side together. My scissors are not good, I have to change scissors. And I start by the back, and I can use a crayon to open my hole here on the back and I pass my yarns behind my machine and I let my knot behind, okay? And how I place my yarn? For example, I have two dark blue. I get my first dark blue and I put in front of my, my dark blue, I place the other one. I have two pink. I get one here and another just in front of one. In fact, face to face, okay? Face to face. I have blue, yellow, white, one. I put here and I have another one, blue, yellow, white, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and I put them here. I have a light blue and I have two places. It doesn't matter. 
I put it on a place that is open. I have this open place all the time. And this open place have to be up to sky every time. And I have to count one, two, three. The third yarn I put in the open place. I turn the open place to the sky. I count one, two, three. I put in the open place and I turn to the left. If I I have I am left-handed, I turn to the left. If I la right-handed, I turn to the la right. Okay. So one, two, three, and I turn sky. One, two, three. And I do this until I have my bracelet. Okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm Marcelo. I have some things bobbing here. No problem. I just have to pull a little bit here. Okay? And that's okay. This is because my bracelet is starts to come here. Okay? One, two, three. Let's do it. Still doing this, and I go to do by my side here, and I go to show you later how does it work. Okay? Don't, don't give up. Do this, and show me later how does it is still working. Okay? This is beautiful. And when you have lots of colors as I have here, you go to see is a, a beautiful thing that you have... Hey boys and girls, look that. I'm I'm advancing a little bit. It's not ready yet. However, look that. It's easy and I'm improving very well. I love the colors. Look how this mix uh, very well. It's like uh, uh, it's moving greatly and I love the mixing that it makes. I have pink, yellow, light and dark blues, different blues and whites. And this here, if you don't like, you can cut this and can make this how do you like, how do you want late, okay? I go to finish this and I go to show you how this, when you, it will be done, okay? I go to show you this when it will be done, okay? So kids, I'm almost finished my bracelet. So, how do I know that... I finished when I see that my bracelet I can attach around my arm my my arm here do you see it is I can it come around my arm so what I do I get out from here and I can get from here and I go to do a knot here to stop my bracelet okay and that's it I have a bracelet and I can to attach here in my arms and I cut my here to have the bracelet done so you can just attach your bracelet like this and your bracelet is done okay i wish you you like this activity and you have fun with you your friends hi now you have your brazilian bracelet i wish you love this activity so i invite you to Post to me and send me photos of your Brazilian bracelet and, f and uh, here in my f YouTube or, or in my Facebook page, Maquelo Studio. Send me photos, send me photos of your bracelet, send me photos of your, your bracelet uh, machine. If you have questions, don't be shy. Ask me questions. It's a, it will be a pleasure to me to answer your questions, okay? Share with your friends and family this activity too that will be nice they have their bracelets too okay see you soon with another activity
Okay. Goodbye.